You wouldn't think there was an economic crisis looming here in Russia to look at a store like this. It's the middle of the working week. This is IKEA and it's full of people. They've been pouring up the stairs and they're here checking out the goods on sale. Now these, of course, are imported items and given the fall of value of the ruble, their prices are set to rise. So instead of sitting at home and watching the value of their savings depreciate, Russians have decided to hit the shops like this one and to get spending. So the goods have clearly been flying off the shelves here. Now shopping's always extremely intense ahead of the New Year holiday here in Russia, but this year is obviously extraordinary. And it's not just here in IKEA. Car sales rooms have said that sales there are accelerating, electronics goods are flying too. People are spending their rubles while they still have them and while it's still worth something. Of course, we worry about it. But you're spending your rubles. Yeah, yeah, we try to spend all, all of uh, all of uh, rubles that we have and maybe we want to buy some uh, uh, real estate now and uh, big shopping like uh, kitchens and, and other furniture. Because you, because you think the currency is losing value? Yeah, yeah, I think yes. Well, people here are concerned, but there's no sense of panic here yet. And interestingly, there's no sense that most people are blaming the man in charge, President Putin. Now, of course, for 15 years, Mr. Putin's built up his popularity on a sense of prosperity here in Russia. The rising oil prices has helped people to feel better off, to have more money in their pockets. And it's also led to the expansion of shops like this and of shopping malls right across the country. But things now are starting to change. Sure, because I'm losing my uh, salary amount comparing to euro or to dollars. Uh, and uh, my, my company is experiencing not so easy times and nearly ready to close. We gave up queuing because it's impossible. There's just too many people. We wanted to buy something, but we couldn't. <laughs> and this is the scene at the end of it all, the huge queues for the tills. People here obviously still ready to spend and not entirely sure what the future holds.